Folks, we have here a Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. So this is one of the most uh, engineered chairs on the market, probably one of the most expensive chairs on the market. This chair here has seven electrical function. It has the standing feature, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, the legs that go up and down. Up and down also has the interior tilt. It's just seven electrical function on this power chair. This power chair has two miles, so it's literally brand new. As you can see, the color is gold. Um, the color can be changed if that's not the color you want. Uh, and the whole chair can be sized up. But th again, this is a Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing, seven electrical function. It has two miles. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to show you the standing position. That's if you're watching this video, that's what you want to see anyway. So if you're going to stand someone up, two things you got to do. The first thing you got to do before someone stands up, you have to put the knee brace on. And the only way you'll be able to knee brace on, you have to make sure these foot plates are in. They can't be out here because you're not going to be able to slide the knee brace. You're going to hit the seat. So if they're, if they're back like they are now, you'll be able to slide the foot plate easier. And matter of fact, if they were back further, it'd be even easier on the knees, okay? This knee brace is adjustable by turning this knob right here. As you can see, it's moving forward. We're gonna move it forward so you can see. This is as far forward as it'll go, okay? The second thing you gotta have if you're gonna stand someone up, on this chair, you have the chest guard. So you need to put it whatever tightness you want. You can adjust it right here with this little strap right here, okay? So you can adjust. So you have to have the chest guard and the knee brace, and then you can start going up. When you go up, you'll see the seat will do all kinds of little function as it's working its way up, okay? So you see the foot plate went out, the back is gonna start coming down. And there goes the standing feature right now. So this is the, uh, again, the standing power chair. You see the wheels going to the ground right here. They were up about three inches off the ground a second ago. These are just, the engineering in these chairs is just incredible. And the nice thing about this, once the chair is elevated to the standing position, you'll still be able to drive this chair, okay? So we've got the chair. Now this is what, this is what the standing position looks like. It's not gonna be straight up like this. It's gonna be always gonna be on an angle like this, okay? And you can see, you can still drive the chair standing. Of course, you would have your knee, your knee brace, your, your lap belt, and your chest guard to keep you from coming forward, okay? So you can see the front of the chair. You can see the back of the chair. You can see the chair is like, as I said, it's two miles, so it's brand new. As you can see the base right there. Matter of fact, while we have the chair up in the air, let's look at the base real quick because we can see the base real good right here. So as you can see on this chair, we have 14 inch solid tires. They're not gonna mark your floor. These are the aggressive tires. You can see the, the, these are aggressive. There's some that are rounded better. These have knobs all the way around. The same with the back tires. These are the aggressive ridge tires. So it has the upgraded aggressive tires. You have a suspension here and here. So if you can see, if I can grab this, you'll see the suspension. This chair, folks, weighs 450 pounds, maybe more, okay? It's a heavy chair. The ride you're gonna get with this chair is so smooth because you have these heavy suspension. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. You have four suspension, okay, four shocks. You have an anchor point here and inside the fender. This is where you tie your chair if you need to secure it to your lift or inside your van. It's got the anchor point here and here on both sides. You have four anchor points. You have a motor. You can't see the motor, but the motor starts here. You can actually see the lever for the motor. The motor starts here and it goes all the way up to the hub, directly to the, to the wheel. If I ever had to push this chair, let's just say you have this chair and you forgot to charge it, or you have an issue with the chair, you need to push it. What you have to do is turn the power off, okay? And the reason you want the power off you want no resistance in the motor. Power's off, then you go to your lever and you push it down on both sides. I'm only gonna do this side here, but, but you can see how the wheel is freewheeling, okay? That's your, that's your lever right here. When you're done, put it back in gear, and you can see the chair's back in gear, okay? So, that's how you do that. 
and we're going to turn the power back on and we're going to bring the seat positioning back down now while this is going down let me talk to you about the swing away this is called a swing away joystick you notice the joystick was sitting here now it's here this enables you get to a dining table a lot closer to a dining table so you'll see the seat coming back to a standard position the wheels are coming off the ground and the seat will go all the way down and we're back to where we started there we go we're almost all the way down and I'm going to bring the legs put the joystick back here I'm going to bring the legs in a little bit more there we go so once your once your loved one is sitting you can take the you can take the knee brace off you can still leave the chest strap if you need it but you also have your lap belt right here the next feature I'm going to show you is called the electric seat lift so the electric seat lift is when the seat goes up okay wrong way there we go you're gonna start roughly at 22 now this chair has a 14 inch seat lift there's only very few chairs you can go up to 14 most of them are 5 10 12 this one is 14 inches folks so even with the chairs elevated at 14 inches with this chair right here folks you can still drive the chair let's see all the way up here in a minute and you'll see you can still drive the chair at a really good speed with the seat elevated okay you'll be able to see this outside in a minute okay so that's your seat elevation I want to show you something else too folks I'm gonna bring the seat back down this may be good for you it may not be good for you but I'm gonna show you something here if you have a person who needs to get out of their chair okay we're gonna flip the foot plates okay we're gonna bring the legs back in some more Oop, the other way okay so now what I'm going to do now remember I told you there's an interior tilt the seat tilts forward so what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you the interior tilt you'll see the back here going you'll see the seat tilting forward you see this this is called the interior tilt okay so if you have a person who has trouble getting out of their chair folks you're pretty much you'll slide right out and you're pretty much standing walking away from your chair so that's what the seat elevated to whatever position you want and then you tilt it forward that's called the interior tilt so we're going to bring the interior tilt back down so you'll see the seat will get back to flat and we're going to bring the seat all the way down back to the low position and remember when you're driving this chair if the seat is elevated even half an inch off the base you're not going to get full speed so you have to be all the way down to the bottom like I am now before you get your full seven and a half miles an hour that's another thing this chair goes seven and a half miles an hour Whew. very fast okay the next feature I'm going to show is called the electric tilt the electric tilt is when the base right here goes back so when the base goes back of course the legs right here and the back are going to go back together because they're all connected this is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom pressure off your back you just want to relax or you want to have your legs up in the air so now we've got the seat tilted back the next thing I'm going to show you is the feet so in the, oh, the other way so I'm, this is just a little extreme but if you needed to get your feet up in the air look at this folks this is if you need circulation I'm going to show you the, the extreme position okay there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the seat back down so you can see it halfway tilted you'll see that if I'm halfway tilted you can still have your legs higher than your body look at here okay right here your legs are still higher than your body but we're only halfway tilted so now we've we've done the legs the seat lift the interior tilt uh, one other function we have here is going to be the electric recline so the electric recline is the back right here let me hit the right button here is the back going back by itself nothing else is moving but the back here is going back okay that's called the electric recline
and we'll see how far that'll go. So it's pretty much flat, folks. Look at that. Look at that. And the arms do flip out of the way, so if you transfer from the side, if you transfer from the side, you can move the arms out of the way. Also, <clears throat> these pads can be removed if you transfer from the side. These are lateral pads, which I'll cover in a minute. So that's your laying down position. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the back back up, and I'm going to bring the legs back down. I hit the wrong button. All right, back back up, and legs back down. I'm doing two buttons at once. You can do that through the joystick with one, one positioning to have two options going at the same time. So the legs are coming back down, the seat is coming back up. We're almost there. Now I'm going to leave the legs out a little bit because if you're going to be outside, leave them out a little bit. It gives you a little more room or elevate your seat a little bit if you need more room, okay? I'm going to bring the seat a little more forward. There we go. So <clears throat> the only other option left now the foot plate can be elevated up and down, but you have to do that through the joystick. So you would go here and you would push this button forward until you see a picture of your seat. So I'm going to keep going for There we go. So I see a picture of the seat. That seat, all the positioning can be yellow. The only yellow you want, you want the foot plate yellow and a an, and an yellow arrow going up and down. So right now the seat is yellow. I would make the seat go up if I want to do it here. But I'm going to move the joystick sideways until I see the foot plate yellow by itself. Okay, so now I've got the foot plate yellow with the arrow going up and down. Now I can use my joystick, if you watch. See the foot plate going down? And if you go with too, too far low like this, the light will turn red. You cannot drive until you bring it back up. So if I push this way, so that's another, so this is one of the seven electrical functions on this chair, folks. This is just an amazing, amazing chair. So I'm gonna put it back in drive. We're going to look at the front of the chair now. So let's look at the front of the chair. So this chair is equipped with a large seat. It has a 20 by 20 seat. This is gel in here. This is all full of gel in here. This is foam, but the, your whole bottom part here is full of gel. This is a real nice expensive seat. We, it's got custom lateral knee pads. What these do, they keep your knees from buckling out and your foot from coming off the foot plate. These are lateral knee pads. They can be adjusted. Let me put this up so you can see. They can be adjusted in any position you want. You can have them go forward, backward, inward, outward, sideways. There's all kinds of adjustments in here, in here, and on the, sh on the, on the actual um, shaft here on the side, on the, on, the, on the arms. So you have a safety belt, like I mentioned earlier. You also have <clears throat> elbow pad. This is also custom. So when you raise your, your arm up, your elbow stays on here. It's got the elbow pads. It's got the adjustable headrest. This is a, this, I don't know if this is gel. I think it's some kind of really funky, feels like gel, but it may not be. Uh, this is an adjustable headrest, folks. What that means is right now it's sitting like this, but it can be like this or it can be wide open. It can be adjusted right in the back here. There's a zipper right here, and there's two adjustments back here to adjust this from here to, if you want it right against your ears or all the way out. This is a custom headrest, folks. Also in the back of this chair we have right here, as I said, folks, this is just a crazy, crazy chair. Push bars. So if you, have, so if you put it in neutral, you won't have to push against the seat. You can push right here against the frame. Push bars. You also have an attendant control here. What that means, I can drive this chair from here and do all the functions from here if I had to. All I have to do is switch it from there to here, which has been switched. You can see nothing's happening. And I can drive right from here, the chair, and do everything from here, okay? And I have, you can do it this way, okay? And if you don't need this, we can take it off, or you can just drop it down like this out of the way, okay? This is called an attendant control. As I said, it's already on here. Um, so it's got that. Also what you have on this chair, folks, oh, I gotta switch it back. So I'm gonna switch it back to the front. Also what you have on this chair, you have ports right here. You can have a tray for this chair. So if you want a, a tray, it's also, it has these little ports right here on both sides. 
you can have a tray, a dining tray with this chair. We, we have those available, I think we have a couple leftovers, okay? So, so, so far, uh, the only thing I didn't mention is this chair can be sized up. So, as I said earlier, the seat is 20 by 20, but folks, if you need an 18 by 18, 18 by 20, 16, whatever size you are, we can change the cushions, we can change this, we can expand or lower the seat, make the seat, everything's adjustable. So whatever size you are, this chair will fit you, okay? So when you call us and you want to order this chair, just let us know your height, your weight. We'll get a bunch of information from you and we'll size up the chair for you, okay? When you charge the batteries in this chair, you'll take your charger. I'm going to use this one for example. This may not be the charger, but it's a permobile charger. You would plug it right here. And as soon as the batteries are full, the charger will stop charging, okay? This chair has a 300 pound weight capability, maximum weight capability of 300. It has a total distance on one battery charge of up to 15 miles. Folks, if you're outside, going uphill in the grass, using a lot of the function, you're not gonna get 15 miles, but you're gonna get a long distance, okay? So this, this up to 15, varies on the weight, the usage of the chair, how you drive your chair, okay? So let's recap what we have here. We have a Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. This one has seven, sorry, seven electrical function. It has two miles on this power chair. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric leg, the standing position, the interior tilt, and the legs that go up and down. That's seven electrical function. It has the elbow pad, it has the swing away joystick, it has the lateral knee pads, it has the custom headrest, the push bars, the attendant control, of course the charger, it has the aggressive upgraded tires. Folks, this is one of a kind power chair. If you need the standing position to stand you up, uh, this is the only one that I know that has all the other features with the standing position, they will give you that relief. So if you're looking for the top of the line in power chairs, this would be one to look at. So folks, this is the F5 vertical standing, top speed, 7.5 miles an hour. That's really fast, folks. Most chairs go five, six, six and a half, seven and a half miles an hour. And when you stop, it breaks automatically within a couple of feet, you come to a stop and it's still in gear. It's not moving, even though it's still on, so you can still get out of it, okay? So this is the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. You can just see it's heavy. It has a sofa ride. It's just a really good ride because I'm riding it at the full speed now, so. No problem in the grass. So remember, if you're gonna take it in the grass, it has, your grass has to have a good bottom. You know, you have to have a solid bottom, should be no problem at all. So this, is, this is the Permobil F5, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna raise the seat up, and you'll be able to see the seat lift going up, and you'll be able to see me driving the chair with the seat elevated 14 inches, and it'll still drive at a decent speed. So remember, if you drive this chair, with the seat elevated, really, really flat surface, folks. These are so expensive, these chairs. Uh, we, we do have to take care of them. So the seat lift is almost all the way up. You should be at 36 inches when you're all the way up, which makes it a lot easier to do your dishes, grab stuff on the second and third cabinet. At the movie theater, you can see above everybody without having to get out of your chair. As you can see, so right now, I'm gonna bring it back here so this chair goes three, faster than walking speed. It goes 3.2 miles an hour with the seat elevated. Top of the line in quality. Probably the most expensive chair on the market today. Ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800 677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.